Hi and welcome to this video. I thought I'd start this by showing you what I've been up to lately because I suck at intros. <laughs> One of the things that I'm working on at the moment is this three-dimensional moth. It looks kind of weird right now, but I'm hoping it will turn out pretty cool. I also finally finished this art journal, so get ready for a flip through. And then my largest project ever, this huge atlas moth. It's not finished by far, but um, I really like working on this one. Alright, that was a quick recap, now let's continue with this unboxing. Hi, I just got a super exciting package in the mail and I am gonna open it on camera. A while ago I got an email from BB Crafts and they asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them. So I took a look at their website and they had so many amazing things so of course I had to say yes. So the first thing I got are these. You can make fabric buttons with these. I really wanted to try that out because I love embroidery. And I also got some wooden panels. Because I love painting on wood. Um, oh, they're so smooth. I cannot wait to paint something on this. <laughs> and then the last thing I got, some pretty embroidery hoops. I'm not sure if they're like actual wood. No, I think it's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic because it's bendable. They really look like wood, which I love. So happy with all this. Thank you, BB Craft. Yeah, I will link all the products that I got in the description box below if you want to check them out yourself. I'm very excited to use them. <laughs> A friend of mine sent me a picture of some caterpillars in her garden, knowing that I would get super excited. And of course I wanted to pick them up. Thank you so much, Buck, for letting me steal all of them and helping me with it. I put them in my terrarium at home with their host plant. And they started pupating pretty quickly, as you can see here. They emerged a couple of days later, and this whole process will always be so fascinating to me. Like, just... Like what? It's, I don't know, it's just so interesting. I know that not everyone is a fan of butterflies and other bugs, so I'm sorry if this freaks you out. Anyways, I released most of the butterflies outside so they could start reproducing again, because sadly, it is a fact that the butterfly population is decreasing. But I kept a few of them in my butterfly terrarium so I could pin them later. I do not kill them, I waited for them to die naturally. The butterflies got a little damage during their life, which doesn't last very long, but I think it makes them look even prettier. It adds authenticity. Now all I need to do is buy some frames so I can admire them for a very long time. I always work on way too many things at the same time, so I forced myself to finish this moth today. Yeah, that didn't work out because I just couldn't wait any longer to use the products I got from BB Craft. So I started working on some embroidery. Yeah, these are two little buttons I made using the BB Craft Kit. The butterfly was a ton of work because it's so very tiny. I had at least three breakdowns while working on it, but the results definitely made it worth it. I got another package from a subscriber, which I'm very happy about, and I'm gonna check it all out now. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> I love using napkins because they're not super thick and you know my journal nearly falls apart because of how thick it is so you can never go wrong with some napkins. Thank you so much Ilya this literally made my day. I appreciate this so much I'm super grateful and I cannot wait to use everything. Thank you.
Hi. I wanted to go and finish the piece that I was working on yesterday outside, but I'm actually craving some monster energy. Embarrassing, but <laughs> so I'm gonna go get some first. Ready to work on the moth. 